Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and we'll get back to more of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Last time, we completed Great Bay Temple, and in this part, we're gonna go ahead and collect our reward for, well, completing the Great Bay Temple while collecting all those stray fairies. What you want to do is go ahead, jump across these islands, this is just outside um, Zora Hall, by the way. And once you get over here, you want to start hookshotting to these little islands here. Somehow I missed. So let me get closer. How come? Okay, I was wondering why my target wasn't appearing. Over here should be a gray. So let's go ahead and take care of it. It likes to repair quite often when it's nighttime. Actually, I think it likes to appear pretty much any time, so let me... Okay. Man, these palm trees are really tough to target. Okay, and I think I just heard the Gwei just about to respawn, or just about respawn. And now that we're over here, we'll just go ahead and up up onto these platforms. And of course, pull out a bomb, or better yet, your bomb mask. I think it's actually more fitting if we do this as a Zoro. You know, for each temple we complete, Let's do it as a species it represents. So, we give up the stray fairies. And we get to meet the great fairy. Oh, courageous young man, I am the great fairy of courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. <laughs> As you can see, a white aura has covered our hearts. Or rather, an out white outline. I can't really call it an aura. <laughs> oh, I've been playing Pokemon too much recently. Your defense has been strengthened. Enemies now do half as much as damage as before. Essentially, it doubles your heart. Doubles your health. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. I like how Mikael waves. It's funny, you don't really see the animation often. So anyways, you may remember that we also met Gecko and turned him into a frog. Well, we can go ahead and do the side quest that he's involved with, but there's another side quest I have in mind that needs to be taken care of now that we go ahead and defeat York. And I'll think I'll meet you all um, right there. Hello, like like. I really hate you. Now this is what I'm talking about. Incidentally, this will appear only after the water is no longer murky. What's interesting is, well, I don't mean no longer murky because guess what? It's still murky. I should be saying after you defeat Yorg. And so yeah, defeating Yorg should have made the water no longer murky, but it's still a bit murky and it's still going to take a while for it to become unmurky. So and actually, by I'll stake, when I say still take a while, I mean, yeah, that murkiness is there for the rest of the game. Well, I mean, if you swim out too far, not, I'm pretty sure that the effects have been eliminated at Pinnacle Rock. Second of all, you may think, okay, well, it cured Lulu of her depression. Well, no, it was actually the New Way Bossa Nova that cured her of her depression. And here's something that, so pretty much defeating Gorg did absolutely nothing but activate this mini game, which doesn't seem to make sense, right? The go to go to Fisherman's Island. 
the thing is, is that the fisherman has apparently started up this game because fishing was simply no good. Well, that's just flat out bad timing because, well... Fishing should be good now. We want to go ahead and as soon as you see that red dot, don't crush the analog stick. Just go ahead, wait for it to be close. As soon as you see the red dot, miss. Miss again. There we go. Just demands perfect good timing. Although the seas are back to normal, I started a little business to aim at tourists. Uh, no, you should go back to fishing. Yes, I, this minigame should be, should have been available when fishing was bad. That way you could have continued making money. Whatever. If you pay 20 mo rupees, I'll invite you to a jumping game that has a really big prize. If you're up for it, go to that island in the center. Take off that mask. Well, let's go off to the center then. <laughs> oh, you're up for it. Now then, I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. I'm going to light the torches on each island, each of the surrounding four islands in a particular order. Jump to the island that has a lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you get one point. If you get 20 or more points within the time limit, you'll get a big prize. But it'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. On top of that, if you fall into the <laughs> rock... On top of that, if you fall into the water, the game is automatically over. Thankful, and on top of that, the camera angle is awkward, so you're constantly gonna have to Z or L target, depending on what version you're playing. But aside from that, the t torches actually stay alive for quite a long time, so it's actually a very easy minigame. So, I'll go ahead and try it out. More than enough time. Very easy mini game so far. I spoke too soon. Well, then I'll try again. This time I'll cut it. That was a very embarrassing run. Just gonna get the running start. Oh well. Okay, it didn't take many more tries. Ah, more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> that was a little too easy. Oh well, here's a prize. Now we get a new piece of heart, and it assembles a new heart container. I was thinking of, to, thinking of saving up to buy a big shit, now it looks like it may go bankrupt. Well, that what you get for not making good business strategies. Now, like I said, remember those frogs? Well, I think it's about time I show you where those frogs are. I was actually considering, um, speeding this up in a rather comedic way. But I decided to give up on these ideas because they're actually very easy to find and obtain, especially at this point of the game. You know, all these upgrades from the Great Fairy. Let's go ahead, swim across. Oh, fly across, I mean. And we'll get some dialogue from Odolwa here. Or rather not. Okay, um I'll go with that. Like I said, um, if you remember right, there was another gecko mini boss right back here in the first dungeon. 
So yeah, never uh, expected that we would head back to Woodfall. And we can go ahead and just hop down into the water. Or rather, we should spin across. And we can go ahead and take off our decaments, and because we already got the hero's ball, we can easily even reach our gecko room. So this should be I. Quickly turn on our Deku mask. Do some flower diving. And of course, we're gonna have to wait for that flower to get back up here, which is gonna take a. I was gonna say it was gonna take a while, but no, it went up fast. Of course, it's just a matter of taking care of things. Go pretty fast. With the new hero's bone, we can go ahead and target him. And what's interesting is that with the Goron mask, we can take him off his high horse pretty fast. On top of that, we can even use ice or fire arrows to take care of him pretty quick. So let's go ahead and pull out our ice arrows. And try to find Gek wherever he is. Gora mask on again. Take it off. Ice arrows. No, no, check his description. Not check his description. Why am I checking his description? Tattle, what is wrong with you? Either way, easily take care of him. Now we can go ahead and get the boss key, but we don't need to do that. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and put on our Don Gero mask. Gero, 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 Aku no Oto. Ah, uh, Gongero, it beats along when it brought you. And of course, he'll say that it will have to be spring before he returns to the mountain. Which is fair enough. I mean, it is cold and frogs like to burrow underground. Which is strange because I saw a roadkill frog um, earlier today. Well, earlier yesterday, I should say, because I'm recording this on the morning of Christmas Day! Yay! And I... You want to know how I spent my Christmas Eve? I'll tell you how I spent Christmas Eve. I thought that there was something wrong with my laptop because there was a good indicator because I got the notification that there was no electricity flowing in there. Which caused me to be somewhat confused as to, wait, is there something wrong with my laptop charger? Is my battery going bad? Which would just be perfect to happen right before Christmas. But no, it turned out that there was a power outage. So, you know what I ended up doing for the rest of the day? I've been spending the entire day with my grandfather watching Pete put up a new telephone pole. You want to think that it would be fun? Ashley? 
stepping outside and just spending the day with your grandfather can be interesting. You gotta appreciate people who work in um, construction and electric work. Because it's interesting. Because it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting what they can do. And I was spending the day with my favorite grandparents, so it's also great as well. Anyways, I. There I am just doping around when I should go straight to the laundry pool. There I go, not paying attention to my map. Amazingly enough, that's only the second time in the playthrough that I made the mistake of talking to the Diego scrub. The business scrub, I should say. Anyways, another frog by the laundry pool. Very first one we met, and I just remembered. There was another frog that I actually missed all the way back in the fr swamp. Because I now remember that there were actually two frogs in the swamp. Well, one in Woodfall and the other being in the swamp. Wow, the music just got cut off by the music box. What's interesting is that this water is fresh, so you can actually, um, go ahead and become a Zora. Alright. Gotta take the Don Barrow mask off. Or rather, put the Zora mask on a separate slot. That's probably better. But the water is actually, um, fresh in this area, regardless of if you defeat Odolwa or not, so... You can actually just go ahead and swim here. The Zora, which is pretty cool. Or better yet, just walk in here as a Zora because uh, Zora Link is tall enough, and I hear you, Froggy. I hear you, Caro. Caro, Caro, Caro. I do know what to do. Yeah, I'm doing that again. Wow, I heard you from far away, little guy. Oh, we gotta take off our Zora mask. Put on our Gondero mask and talk to him. There we go. Now I can go ahead and, well, the last thing to do is bring Spring back to Snowhead. And of course, to do that, we're gonna have to defeat Goat, which, again, with double health and double magic, is going to be very easy. So, I'll count until um, I defeat Goat, because those are all the frogs. And, well, of course, include, excluding the one that we already gotten in um, Great Bay Temple, but you saw that in the previous video. And conveniently... <laughs> Your gum drop us off right here. You know, it's funny. I in the previous video I left up a text saying that I would never speed through a boss fight. Then I just remembered that that was a lie because I did the ex just that with goat. And I need to apologize for that because I should have had practice with goat long beforehand. I have been waiting for you, Gongero. Forgive me if I am mistaken. It looks like you lost weight. As you can see, Gongero, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Good thing we never had to, we don't have to actually compose it like we did in Ocarina of Time. The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how we are deeply moved by your spectacular conducting. Let's do this again sometime. No! Another collective thon? Uh, no, thank you. However, there was one other good thing for coming all the way here. It's gonna require the Zora mask. 
And we might as well do it here now because, well, we already have the acquirements. And we might, and well, we could have waited do this much earlier. We might as well do it when the opportunity was with us since we were gonna come here for the Don Garo side quest anyways. Want to go ahead and put on our Zora mask and dive underwater. You'll find this treasure chest, which should contain, if I'm not mistaken, another piece of heart? Yes! Another piece of heart. Anyways, now that we got them two new pieces, heart pieces, as well as a silver rupee. Well, actually, no, that's not a silver rupee. What am I thinking? That's a blue rupee. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You gave me so much trouble in the past. Now I can defeat you in one hit. Anyways, now that we've gotten two new pieces of heart and gotten quite a bit of collectibles, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask, we're actually gonna continue on with the main story. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.